I'm Cindy Balin with some online design tips. Do you have a room that's a decorating disaster? Let's face it, any room that's not working for you can be a decorating disaster. Maybe it's an ugly color, or the shape just doesn't work, or you can't figure out where to put things, or the ceiling is too low. The good news? You can probably fix a decorating disaster and make it into a usable space. Now, I'm not going to guarantee that you'll end up with a designer room like you see on cable TV, but I will tell you that almost every decorating disaster can be fixed. So where do you begin? Well, your first move should be getting everything out of that room. Then you can stop to reassess. What is the function of the room? What do you wish it could be? What do you need that room to be? Once you've determined that, you can move ahead. The first thing I would say is to clean that room within an inch of its life because a clean room will suggest many more possibilities. Then paint it. Now if you're passionate about spicy red or cool crisp herbal green, those are great ways to go. However, if you don't know what color you want to do, how about a nice pale creamy whitish yellow? or maybe a nice cool taupe. There's nothing embarrassing about using neutral colors on your walls and later you can bring in color in other ways. Okay, so now you've painted. Doesn't the room look better already? Maybe even more expansive if you've gone with a light bright color or if you've gone with a deeper shade, maybe now you have a cozy room. Well, what do you do next? How about your floor? If you've got a matted carpet or perhaps a scratched floor, the best thing you can do is cover it. You might be thinking to yourself, I can't afford a rug right now. Well, the good news is that really nice looking rugs can be very inexpensive. Something made of a natural fiber, maybe seagrass or jute, can look terrific on a floor. Otherwise, a machine-made oriental can add a little sprinkling of color. And even if you've got linoleum, a nice solid color rug bound on all sides can make a room look very beautiful and give it a foundation. What's next? The furniture, of course. Save your back do it on paper first. What I like to do is start out with one piece of furniture facing the room's focal point. What's a focal point? Well, it could be anything. Maybe at your house you have a nice looking fireplace or a beautiful view out a kitchen window or even your TV. Whatever you start with, tie the fireplace in with a piece of furniture. So, um, we'll take our couch and in this case we're going to put it facing a fireplace. As you bring in furniture, one piece at a time, strive for balance. So we're going to, we're going to add a, a chair over here and maybe one over here. You know, you shouldn't be afraid to bring in the furniture from the walls. A room will feel much cozier if you create conversation groupings. Don't worry if the chairs aren't identical. They don't have to be. They just have to feel right together. The next thing you should think about is lighting. Some rooms don't work just because they're dark and dingy. The first thing I always do is open the shades or throw open the curtains to bring in some natural light. You may not have windows everywhere you wish you did, but at least the room will look more light, more bright, and more comfortable. Accessories can be the toughest part, but of course the accessories add polish and style to the room. So think about just a few things that you might want to bring in to make your room a little bit more beautiful. Could you use a bright throw pillow or two to add some color to the room? Maybe a pile of books on a table. That'll make it comfortable for you when you curl up on your couch. Just a few things in the room can make a big difference. Now the other thing is you're going to have to deal with clutter. So many of our rooms fail because we've just got too much stuff in them. Can you bring a big basket into the room so that you can 
throw things in there before people come over. Or the other thing is sometimes you can commandeer a shelf maybe in the TV cabinet. In any case, try to think of strategies to keep from bringing clutter into the room and then you won't have to take it out. Well, what have you got now? You have a room in progress. It looks cleaner and crisper than it used to, and you may find that it's pretty comfortable. Whatever you do, make sure that you keep it free of clutter and you've got yourself a room to call your own. Thanks for listening. I'm Cindy Balin. For more online design tips, visit my website at www.orangesandlemonscolors.com.